guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a unbox oh it's going to be a unboxing i say unboxing instead of unbagging so if you guys didn't see my last video my last video was going to be my last ipsy unbagging and the reason why i mentioned in that video was because i've been with ipsy about three years now and some things are good some things are bad like just with any kind of subscription box if you've ever been subscribed to any box before and um I've been seeing like my friends doing boxy charm, and I was like, you know what? Like the box that they got last month, like I liked the blow dry that they got, and I liked um, the pour. I forgot what it was, but like, some of the products in there I really liked, and some of the pro like mostly like I guess like the ca last couple three months I've been seeing their boxy charms with my friends or people on YouTube normally like their stuff versus my Ipsy it has those times it's good there's times that <clears throat> there's times that it's bad but the last three months mine hadn't been like all that great and I just thought that I just take a break and just go ahead and do a boxy charm I didn't want to keep two subscriptions just because like again I wasn't really feeling Ipsy for the last three months I don't want to kind of do like full-size products and I want something that put full-size products in here so I think it's like $21 a month you get a box full of four or five items if I'm not mistaken I took the little test online um but I think everybody gets pretty much everything in the box so this is my first boxy charm unboxing my little box just came in today and I'm so excited now normally I don't like to see anyone else's unboxing until mine is here but for some reason I didn't think I was gonna get this box this month I thought mine wasn't gonna take effect till the following month so I kind of pretty much saw some of other people um unbox this one but it's all good so I already do have makeup and I do already have like because I have guys girls boys I just said guys <laughs> uh i've been i've been so fucking busy like it's insane i have meeting after meeting things getting ready if you guys don't know i'm very active with uh, my kids being um involved in school so i'm like the president of the band booster my daughter's junior miss alice she's like you know she's queen she won the pageant whatever so i just been up and down me personally i have things going on um in my career wise like it's just a lot of stuff to do so that's why I've been kind of absent in my video making so I'm hoping that that is done and over with to the point where I do not go in my A for too long um, I know that dusting skin so was around the corner and whatnot yes I do talk a lot that's why I love doing videos so I'm going to do this and then what you see next in this video will be me using the products and I probably won't use it until tomorrow because again I have things I need to go do still so this look will be different at the end of the video just keep in mind but right now we're just gonna do the items and then we will do the look with this so I keep there's so much tape and so this is the first time I'm doing this box and you can see it has the papers and it has everything in here and if you want to guys want to know it's just hashtag boxy charm um, and if you want I'll put their link in the description if you guys want to subscribe to them as well so I'm so excited for this so this is the first time that I'm doing this it's just $10 at the Ulta Skin Care which is this right here and then this is what the little card says as but boxy boxy charm and yeah so I guess in here it tells you like what's in here which I don't normally want to see because sometimes Ipsy would do that as well and I just don't want to see the products that kind of just want me surprised even though I do know what's in here but it's different when it's in your palm so I'm so excited for that so superfood vital veggie mask which I'm so excited to try so this I will be trying out tonight after the day is done and over with and I wash my face because I've been looking for another good mask to try um, this heat is not really good for my skin like I have oily skin for one two I have a lot of blemishes and some scarring because let's let's be real when I get a pimple I like to mess with it and pop it and stuff I don't know maybe that's why I like pimple popper like I just love messing with it um which to me I know people say you don't do it but I feel like I don't want a pimple with full of pus you know what I mean like I don't want to have extractions like I like doing extractions myself um but that being said I have some scarring here and I really need to try like a good mask so I can't wait to try this out so that is that I do want to see like how much this is this is actually $35 um, 
and it says it's a get a shot of green goodness with the treatment mask that nourishes smooths and brightens for softer smoother and more radiant skin i'm only looking for certain things i'm not really looking at what else i got but yeah that's what this is so i'm excited to try that and that compared to my little products is like a huge difference now this is what i'm really excited because if you guys don't know i love makeup brushes like i I have some makeup brushes like you I'm looking because I have two bags of makeup brushes and then I have a big old brush set and then I have two more brush sets and then I have one behind me and then I just have more that I haven't used that are in my organization which I will be doing a video for you guys once I get in the new more shelves that I'm gonna put in here because my makeup literally it does not fit anymore and I have acrylic um, drawers and stuff and then my vanity like it's literally to the top of every drawer like it's insane but i love brushes and sometimes like if i have too much i will give them to my daughter but my niece i'm so excited guys because she's getting into makeup she wants me to show her how to do makeup so i'm so excited so i'll be buying triple now for her as well so this is Luxy. um this is a set of brushes and they come in this right here so i'm so excited because of course this is the first time i'm actually getting like a whole set of brushes or more than one brush in my subscription versus ipsy you only get one but this is so cool so this one is the Luxie 250 this is a large eye blending brush which I can never have enough blending brushes I think from all my blushes the I mean all my brushes I feel like I need constant like more than any is my blending brushes more than anything and then my eyeshadow brushes but my blending brush is like one that I need to stock up all the time I don't know and then this one is the Luxie 246 Precision Crease, which I like to do something like small like this when I do like a cut crease and stuff like that. And then this one is a foundation brush. Now, I don't use foundation brushes for my foundation. If I do, I'll use like my It Cosmetics, so don't get scared, okay, because it's dirty and stuff. But I like these type of brushes, like my It Cosmetics, it's dirty, I need to wash it. Um, those are my favorite type of brushes for foundation. These, however, I don't do, but I do do use these type of flat brushes for mask I like to use these type of brushes to apply my masks so I'm so excited for these these are so freaking cute yes okay so the next thing I'm gonna pull out and I think those brushes brushes I'll show you the, the prices in a little bit now the next is a palette which I'm so excited because this is like an actual palette like oh my god and this is by butter slash London which looks like that and then these shadows are so freaking pretty now if you guys don't know this like me personally I like color as you well know as you well can see if this is your first time in my channel like I'm wearing green yesterday I wore blue yesterday the other day before I wore blue and purple like I love bright ass eyes like love bright makeup and this is like it's cute it's natural um i mean it's all right and stuff i think the one that's really calling my name is this blue right here but still like this is so freaking pretty um it is pretty and like if you're more like of a natural type of girl like i normally am not but this little palette i feel like i can see myself using it towards my girls like when they have like addison needs she has a, a fashion show coming up of uh, several fashion shows actually and a photo shoot coming up and destiny like makes schools around the corner so she wants to use like you know makeup like this that is like really light and natural so that is really cute i like it i'm gonna do a look with it um am i gonna keep this i don't know i might just give it to des because she's been wanting more makeup but i don't know we'll see okay so the next product is oh so mine is different i've been seeing everybody else get this lip gloss in a different type of color i may be wrong but i think it's a different color mine is white this one is by a lamar cosmetics and this is cute like this color like reminds me brings back memories from when I was younger I don't know if you guys remember when um, they had like the polish like this it was like white with glitter it was like the end thing and then the glosses oh it smells good I just put this in my freaking nose it really does smell good and it's like really pretty like you see that like oh bitch like I can wear this by itself if I want to do like a beachy look 
dude that is pretty Ooh, and it feels nice it doesn't feel sticky at all liner and brown now i don't normally use brown but i did see um annette 69 uses as a lip liner and i'm probably going to do the same thing because i am um, to be honest i do do like pencil liners on like lips um a lot i guess you can say and even my eyebrows like i had a red one a while back a long time ago and when my hair was dyed red which I'll post a picture. Um, I did like my red eyebrows. I'm trying to open this up. Okay. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh yeah, I can see myself using this as a lip liner than anything. Cause I normally just like if I'm gonna put any liner in my eyes, it has to be like black is my number one, and then like colors like greens and yellows and stuff like that is what I like to use on my eyes. Not really brown. But I can use this bitch for like my lips. So, yeah. So, that is that. So, let me go ahead and give you guys the prices for this. And then we will do the look. So, again, like I said, the veggie mask is $35. Wow, and this box is $21, I believe. The Butter London eyeshadow palette was $32. Wow, $32 for this thing. Hmm okay and then the brush set were 30 bucks which wow like right there is already like like 90 97 bucks right there and then of course the mother of pearl gloss i put it back in here this is pretty this is ten dollars which isn't bad actually we're gonna like like just want this it's like a hundred dollars already there and then the gel liner is um twenty one dollars wow really this is twenty one bucks must be because it feels nice when you like swatch it so that's a hundred and fifty one dollars if i'm doing the correct math so um yeah wow i really liked like my boxy charm already as my first box i think it's really cool that i'm getting like more than five products because if you really count the brushes that's three already the mask is four this is five the lip gloss is six and then the lip liner is seven like that is really cool and they're full size products so i'm so excited for that so that is it so we will go ahead and do a look do the mask and all of this so let's get this started okay guys so it's the morning already i was gonna do it at night but i don't know i got i just didn't do it at night um so we're gonna go ahead and do it this morning we're gonna go ahead and try the mask as you can see you see how i have like a darkness right here and then light it's because i've been out in the sun been going swimming and stuff like that well technically me i'm just in the water like doing this because i don't know how to swim and it says like a slight tingly may occur remove after 10 minutes okay so like i again like how i said how i apply this is with like a flat brush like this this is the one that came in my box so i'm just gonna pop this open and apply this i feel like i should get like a whole amount so you can see that i have been breaking out um i break out more than anything in the summer to be honest like i break out a lot during the summer and of course you get i get like you know if i'm on my period or whatever i'll get like a um you know menstruating um pimple or whatever like they come out and stuff okay this right away it smell it kind of reminds me of the scent nevia no nevia oh, what is it called it's like the blue one that they sell at walmart and it was it's like white or whatever but like the packaging is blue you guys can know what the hell i'm talking about but i remember my mom would use it and i would use it as well like as a teen and stuff and that's what it reminds me of that smell like oxy oxy something like or not oxy clean but like oxy something of um like they came in like 
the creams and the mask and the little pads or whatever I can't remember like if you're like an old school like around the type of person that you remember is like the 90s and like the 80s or whatever like because I remember like I mean I was I remember like see my mom you know use certain products and stuff and then I just started using it as well when I got older so but every time I start to film, my girls call me. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna leave that on for 10 minutes, like it said. Okay, and guys, so I already have my foundation and my eyebrows done. The mask actually felt really nice and really clean when I rinsed it off and just kept it on. Of course, I'm not gonna rate it like 100% because I barely use the mask. I like to kind of rate any kind of skincare or anything like that when I use it more than once so if I really love it then you will see it on my monthly favorites which I know I haven't done the monthly favorites for this past month which I will be doing that pretty soon even though it's kind of late or whatever I'm always fucking late and shit but life happens so I will be still be doing that so anyway we're gonna go ahead and use this eyeshadow for this and I am going to use the brushes and we're gonna go ahead and go ahead. this is a large eyeshadow bloody brush like this is like really what but it's all cool okay so we're gonna go ahead and I really 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 want to use this blue so I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue right there which is called um, Femi Fatale I guess I don't know so we're gonna go ahead and use this blue and see how this works so by the way I can tell like the pigmentation is really really nice and it's not like splotchy or chalky or anything like that I really really like the way this color is guys if you guys don't know this about me which I mentioned several several times if you've been following me for a while or watch my videos because let's be honest there's people that watch your videos and don't subscribe I've done that before too but um don't forget to hit the subscribe button but anyway um yeah so like i don't know like i just i don't know i love color like that's just the thing with me is that i really 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 love color like i know brown is a color i know like natural colors are colors but i'm talking about like vibrant loud way out there colors this is really fucking pretty though that's me that's my style that's and i feel like when i do a natural look I really look fucking weird like I feel like you look like I look pale like I look dead like I feel like there's something missing but that's just me I'm pretty sure people that wear natural makeup all the time and they do like a loud color some of them will be like I look weird I look like a clown or whatever but it's because that we're not used to it so okay, from so there I'm gonna go ahead and get Tantris which is this brown one right here I'm gonna go ahead and use that brown and just kind of like smoke it out a little bit and just go right at the edge to see how this brown is now right away this brown looks really fucking good like I like this brown and then mixing it gives it like a really cool dimension and I would say dimension because I like when I see like like my own like I need to get my nails done but if you see my polish you see how if I move it you can see like different like colors and that's kind of what I'm talking about I know I know like I cut it and stuff I need to get my nails done but I haven't fucking had time guys like seriously and yep Ooh, so fucking pretty okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the crease because the other shadow that I want to put is not pretty so I'm just gonna cut it like halfway and not too too much Just above then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with star which is this green one right there because I think it's pretty I'm gonna go in with this brush right here it's a tiny little brush Dude, 
yeah like so fucking pretty so eyeshadow's like really nice i'm just gonna go ahead and just do the rest of my face until it's time to get the other products because i feel like this is just boring and looking at me i'm not talking about any new concealers or anything like that um so Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, guys. So I have the eyeliner on and I have my lashes on. Piper, move. Move, move, move. So, um, it came with the brown liner, but I don't use brown eyeliner, to be honest. I really don't. So what I'm going to end up doing is actually using it on my lips because... I usually actually sometimes do that like if I have a liner and I don't like I don't like that color on my eyes I'll use it as my lips um, unless it's like a vibrant color so I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my lips instead so I think what I want to do is just kind of smear it a little bit and is I'm using a lip um, brush and I just kind of like blending it in a little bit like most of like hot days are my lips that are really crusty or peeling or anything like that i like to use like a gloss um and normally i like to use like matte lipsticks or just lipsticks in general but because my lips have been so dry lately i've been using gloss lately so dude this is so pretty excuse my crusty lips because I always peel like right there for some reason don't want this to like mess this up so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out real quick. I was like, What's something I didn't do I didn't put any highlights I'm gonna use my elf um the one to collab with um, heart I put some highlight really quick because I was like I know I look a little different like my lips are shining but not my face above the hundreds so I'm gonna do this I really like this color and then oh love Morphe setting mist and that is that I think what I'm gonna do next is I think because I like these colors I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this one right there because I feel like I want to put that in my inner so I'm gonna go ahead and use Enchantress and just Oh yeah, that makes it even like that makes it a huge difference. And that is that. So that is the look using what was in my boxy charm box, which is my first box ever. And I really like this look. Like it's really really nice. I like the eyeshadow and like hello like it's pretty i love everything that was in my box to be honest even the the liner like it's not my color like it's, i don't usually use browns but it really really glides on well i like it as a lip liner and i love this gloss like it's not sticky it's not like does the little you know when you close your lips and then you can like kind of it's like i know it's like part of sticky but i'm talking about like even like just a slight bit like nothing like it feels really nice and moisturizing on my lips which i my lips are like screaming for it because i'm always peeling like right here the makeup like the eyeshadow is really nice and they're very pigmented and it doesn't have a lot of fallout i love the way um i mean the colors are okay because they're not like something that's like oh my god like i love like you need to get it but if you're like type of person that is trying to like get like a little bit of like color in your eye palette and you're more natural but with like maybe like one color out there to you know just to work it just to see how to play with like actual color if you're not comfortable with it i think this palette is amazing and yeah like i really like everything the brushes are really good i have no problem with lexi i've owned lexi brushes for a long time already so I have some of the brushes already so that's like no like oh I the brushes are you know I've, I've used them before and I've loved them even in my ipsy um, bag when I used to be subscribed to ipsy I would get Lexi brushes from there as well and I just love every single one of them I still have every single one of them um, if I don't have one I think maybe one that I already had like double and I just gave it to my daughter um, but I like everything. If I have to say, like, my favorite out of everything, oh, 
oh, it's a toughie because I really love the eyeshadow palette, but I really, really love the gloss. Like, the gloss is, like, really screaming my name. So, yeah, that is it. This is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to slam the subscribe button ring that bell to be notified for future videos and until next time i will see you guys in my next video i'm in my pajamas guys so don't judge all right so anyway talk to you later Mwah. bye